All right, hello guys, and welcome to your weekly forecast. This is going to be a five-day special episode of your weekly forecast because I actually did fall behind two days. I've been a little bit under the weather, as some of you know, so I've been trying to struggle to get back on my normal schedule. So I am back, and these are going to normally run on Sundays, but we're going to have a five-day special episode here uh, that's going to run from the 27th till the 1st of September. Anyway, guys, before I get started with this video, though, I would ask you to subscribe if you do like weather-related content, and also make sure to check out the links in the description for our social medias. Now, let's get right into things here. You can see out west, California, Pacific Northwest, Four Corners, North Central, and Texas. We're all expecting average precipitation for these areas. As you head a little bit further east, though, into Oklahoma, Kansas, Great Lakes, Illinois, Indiana, Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee, and the southeastern United States like Florida and Georgia. We are expecting above average precipitation in that lighter shade of green. It won't be too noticeable, but you will receive a pretty far above average amount of precipitation. In Florida, if Dorian does arrive a little bit earlier than we are expecting, then we can expect to be in that medium shade of green, or that would be warranted. But we are, we are expecting Dorian to arrive around the 1st, later on the 1st, so not a lot of precipitation will fall by the 1st if all things go as expected. But there is the chance that it does come a little bit earlier and a lot of precipitation falls in Florida. That would lead to far above average precipitation for this week. So keep that in mind. Also, the East Coast, North Carolina, uh, up into Virginia, West Virginia, D.C., Maryland, up into the Northeast, New York City, and New England alike. We are expecting below average precipitation. Keep in mind this is in the first shade, so it won't be too noticeable, but on paper you will receive below average amounts of precipitation for your week uh, this week. Now, also, if you do receive a, a, any sort of isolated thunderstorms or anything like that, that would push your county's average of precipitation further up but not necessarily the area surrounding you. So that would be considered an isolated event, and we can't really forecast that far out. So you can't really account for those. So if you do receive a freak thunderstorm or something like that, it might actually mess with these averages. Just wanted to mention that. Now we are going to move on to our temperature forecast, where you can see out west California up into the Pacific Northwest and then back down into the four corner states as well as western regions of Texas. We are expecting slightly above average temperatures as well as Florida and southern Georgia. These are areas, again, where it's going to be above average temperatures, but it won't be too noticeable. But on paper, it will be uh, considered above average. We do have that medium shade of orange there. We're almost a red color for Nevada northern Arizona, portions of Utah, Idaho, southern Washington, and eastern Oregon. We are expecting pretty far above average temperatures. In this area, it will be noticeable over the next five days, and you will probably be like, okay, yeah, it is far warmer than it normally is this time of year. So this is an area where it will be far more noticeable as far as temperatures are concerned. Now we're going to head a little bit further east here into the United States, and you can see we do have a below average temperature region from Montana down into portions of Wyoming, Colorado, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and then back into some of those northern Gulf states like Mississippi, northern Alabama, northern Georgia, a little bit of South Carolina there, and then the very western portions of North Carolina, Virginia, Pennsylvania, and New York, and everywhere within that we are expecting slightly above or below average temperatures for this region. Again, if you're in that light blue, it won't be too noticeable. It'll probably feel more like average, but on paper, you will be below average as far as temperatures are concerned. Within that medium shade of blue, though, that extends from North Dakota, South Dakota into Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Illinois as well including Chicago, we are going to be seeing more noticeable below average temperatures for this region. It will be quite noticeable and you will be able to feel that it is probably colder than it normally is for this time of year for you guys. You will feel that and you will be again be able to look back and be like, okay, yeah, this was actually pretty far below average as far as temperatures are concerned. Again, this is from the 27th through the 1st. Now we're going to go into our special notes segment of the video. This is kind of one of the more unique products you can receive from this where you aren't going to find this many other places. We are expecting significant relief from that heat wave for Oklahoma, uh, Texas, Kansas, areas like that. It will be closer to average as far as temperatures are concerned, which is going to be far colder than it has been in, in recently. So from the 27th through the 1st, we will be feeling significant relief. It'll be closer to average as far as your temperatures are concerned, and we will consider that significant relief considering you've been having temperatures that are 
you know, seven to 10 degrees above your average for quite a while now. So that's your first special note segment. Good news for Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, areas like that. Very, very good news. Now, we are expecting a big cool down here for Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio, the entire East Coast, Georgia, Mississippi, Alabama, areas like that, New England, Pennsylvania, a lot of those Great Lakes states as well. We are expecting a big cool down as far as temperatures are concerned from the 29th through the 1st. This is going to be quite noticeable, and I think that this will be specifically in the later half of this forecast, like I said. So, yeah, expect a pretty decent big cool down here by the end of the month. Into the beginning of September, we will be having a big trough heading into the eastern United States, and again, it will bring noticeably cold temperatures to you guys. Now, our third and last special note uh, special note here. We do expect Dorian to arrive sometime in between the 31st and the 2nd of September for Florida, Georgia, areas like that. And this again will bring significant rain and we don't really know how strong of a storm it will be, but it is possible that it will be a hurricane. So this will be pretty significant if it does arrive into Florida. I'm expecting it to arrive on the 1st probably, but it could be the 31st and it could be the 2nd of September, but we we really need to keep an eye out because it is very likely that this one does interact with Florida at some point here on the forecast, so we really need to pay attention to this. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I do have a few things I do want to say. Later today, we will be, or later today or tomorrow, I'm going to be working on the September forecast. So that will be out the entire September monthly forecast. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that one as I am. I love doing the monthly forecast. So that one is to be expected over the next couple of days. Also, uh, we do have a Facebook group that's been taking off. We're over 400 members now. That link will be in the pinned comment. I highly recommend you join that as it's a great, great place to interact with the weather community and also the community of people who subscribe to my channel. So other people that like my content, uh, we have great weather discussions in that group. It's a great place for you to share your forecasts as well. If you do make weather videos or some sort of forecast, you can always share it on that group and we will give feedback and also just react to your forecast, which would be really fun. We have people from all over the country in that group and it's a great, great place. And I want many more members. Our goal is to become the biggest Facebook uh, weather group on Facebook, which would be super awesome. I believe there is some groups with over a thousand members, but that's as, that's as far as I know. I don't know of any that are much bigger than that. There could be though, but we want to become the biggest Facebook group for weather freaks. And that, that is definitely our goal. Also in the, if you check in the links in the description, we do have an Instagram and a Facebook page as well that you can follow where we do some written forecasts for things that are a little bit smaller scale than what I do on my YouTube. Also check out the Direct Weather Canada and Direct Weather Europe. I mentioned that in a previous video, but we are trying to grow those uh, and get those going because we are going to be eventually making videos on those. So if you do live in Canada or Europe, you can go ahead and subscribe to one of those uh, side channels. Also, we have a Discord server, which is kind of like the Facebook group where we're going to be talking about weather a lot in that group. Um, and it, there is a lot of members on that one as well over, I think well over 200 members in that. So that's a pretty active group as well. All of these are in the description, by the way, where you can click all of these side links just to support the channel, uh, and other things that I do for the direct weather. Uh, I'm, I'm super thankful for everything that's happened with this channel. I just wanted to mention that I've been thinking about that recently. We're almost at 50,000 subscribers and that is just incredible. I've only been doing this for about a year now. And, uh, yeah, I'm ready to start the road to get to 100,000. Uh, if, if I can hit 50,000, I feel like it's obtainable to hit 100,000. So that is our next goal. Uh, but at 50,000, I'll definitely be releasing a video just thanking my subscribers and everything like that. And just talking a little bit about the history of the channel. I think that'd be super duper cool. Um, but yeah, I know I'm, I'm just rambling on. But yeah, just stay tuned for the September forecast. Check out all the links to support the channel. And thank you so much for subscribing. I'm assuming you're a subscriber if you're watching this far, because if you're watching this far into me just rambling on, you probably uh, like my channel enough to subscribe, I would assume, because you've listened this far in. But anyway, uh, the September forecast is coming out. Can't wait to make that. It'll, it'll be super awesome, just like all my monthly and seasonal forecasts are. And I'm super excited to make that. And check out the communities. I want all my subscribers to check out the Facebook group, especially because that is going to be the biggest uh, 
place for us to just interact. I do interact in that group, so you'll be able to interact with me. Again, that's in the pinned comment, so make sure to check that out. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. I'm sorry I rambled on, but anyway, I hope to see you in the next one, and I hope to see you in the September forecast that'll be coming out. So have a great week, guys. See you later.